when the president of the united states who has taken an oath to protect and defend the constitution and by that defend the american people and their interests uses his position to in effect extort a foreign government for his own political purposes i think that is very much what the founders worried about this in high true. crimes and misdemeanors mm. She's very worried about that government corruption. Joining me now, Margot Cleveland. She's the senior legal correspondent with the Federalist. Margot, first and foremost, a lot of people are hearing a lot of names right now, and because we have a disgusting, wretched media in this country, they don't understand who these people are. They're hearing words like Sussman and Durham, and they don't understand what's happening. So can you act like I just showed up here from Mars? Who are these people? What's happening right now? Sure. So Durham is the special counsel who was appointed to investigate the investigators. So we had five years of Trump being the bad guy. And we had special counsel Robert Mueller looking into what he did and, of course, found nothing. And in the process, we came up with evidence that it was actually the FBI and the DOJ who were kind of pulling things. And we saw that first when they went to get a warrant on someone who was volunteering to help the Trump campaign named Carter Page. As this material started to come out, what happened was Attorney General Barr, William Barr, under President Trump, appointed John Durham to start with the investigation. And then he appointed him as a special counsel at the end. So far, John Durham, special counsel, has been digging into what has been going on. So it's probably about four years now. It is so complicated and so messy. We're just starting to get some trials out of it. So Michael Sussman is on trial now in a federal court in Washington, DC. Michael Sussman had been an attorney for the firm of Perkins Coie. And he represented the DNC originally when they were hacked. But he also then started helping the Clinton campaign during the 2016 election. And what happened is he had a client named Rodney Joffe, who was a tech executive connected to a lot of different tech companies. Joffe and some other tech experts put together this theory that Donald Trump was communicating with Russia through Alpha Bank, which was a Russian bank. And Rodney Jaffe took this to Michael Sussman, who's now on trial, and said, hey, look at this. Michael Sussman then went to Mark Elias, who was another partner who was the head of the Clinton campaign's legal work. And together, they then worked with Fusion GPS, which was this private investigative firm. So again, it's a mess. There's all these players. But what they did is they did a two-pronged attack. They took this Alpha Bank hoax, which it is. It was saying, oh, yeah, there's a secret communication network using something called Trump.com or some kind of Trump connection. And they're communicating with Alpha Bank. They took that to the media. And Michael Sussman texted his buddy, James Baker, who was then the general counsel for the FBI. So we're talking really high up in the FBI. Michael Sussman texted him and said, hey, I've got some sensitive information that is time sensitive. Can you meet with me? James Baker said, yeah, absolutely. He meets with, oh, the text also said, I'm bringing this on my own behalf, not on behalf of a client. Uh, James Baker said, sure, and meets with Michael Sussman the next day, who in the introductory comments said, look, this is on my own behalf. I want the FBI to know this. This is gonna hit the media. And then he hands over two thumb drives and I think three kind of academic papers saying, look at this data. It shows that Trump's communicating with the Alpha Bank, the Russia Bank. Baker then takes this to one of the heads in the FBI, 
and then they start this investigation which just happens to coincide, uh, correspond with it coming out in the media. And what do you have? You have Hillary Clinton retweeting the article talking about Alpha Bank and Trump and pushing again this Russia collusion hoax. So that is kind of the details. But if you're like most people, you're like, okay, wait, there's so many players. I don't get. What's the bottom line? Hillary Clinton authorized this. We got this in the Michael Sussman trial. She authorized this to be leaked to the media. She knew that this was not something that's been confirmed. And the people behind the scenes, Rodney Joffe, knew it wasn't solid. They were coming up with ways to make it sound good. So why is Michael Sussman on trial? He's on trial for lying to James Baker, when he took him this data and said, look, I'm coming here on my own. I'm not doing this for a client. When in fact, the evidence indicates he was there both for the Clinton campaign and for Rodney Joffe.